Welcome back one and all, my name is Ultimar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Dragon Age Origins. Where we left off last time, we were in the Diamond Quarter, kind of just exploring around a little bit. I'm just going to move my microphone a tiny bit. We are in front of Lord Haramont's house. Uh, we'll go in there in a sec, of course, but let's just take a look around a little bit first. This is a wall carving, which we will quickly wall carving. 450 whole experience. Lord Balan is the voice of change and defense. Lord Haramont is the voice of stagnation and ruin. It's the Royal Palace there. We're not going to go in there quite yet either. And this is the Orzammar Chamber Assembly. We might head in there first actually to go see what's going on. No quests yet or anything. This is the Shaper 8. Actually, you know what? We'll go in reverse order. So let's start here at the Shaper 8 and we'll make our way all the way back. There's a Shaper there with a quest and a cataloger but not important because not a named cataloger. Also a dead-ended bookshelf. The Legion of Steel and someone named Orta. Oh, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. What kind of research? I was looking for something about the Orton Tig. It was lost during the last flight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. Cool. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Tig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Tig's ruins, somewhere in the Deep Roads. I'm a Grey Warden. I'm not afraid of the Deep Roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Tig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Haramont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Tig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could. Maybe now that you're looking. It's almost too much to hope. All right, well, I'll work on that. There's also another quest over here, somewhere. A Shaper... Who would dare take from the memories? Something. Shaper Assistant Mildred. Warden, I'm outraged. A thief in the Shaper. What have we been reduced to? Did you get a good look at him? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Well then, I'll take a look into that too. And there's somebody here called a Shaper. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. Okay. How do you know who I am? The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Oh, okay then. I would like your permission to open a chantry here. That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. I come on behalf of Brother Burkle, a cleric of Redcliffe. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed, so I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? What harm would it do to let him preach? He seems a charitable man, but that is a thin thread in which to tie Ozamar's traditions. Very well, he may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? Yes. No. I will record this conversation in the memories. I hope I do not come to regret it. It'll be fine. Nothing bad ever happened from introducing new religions to areas with established traditions. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab all these politic books and stuff. Get some free experience. And then... We will probably go tell that dude he can have his church. And also go find that missing book, hopefully. 
I'm also going to save here. Okay, let's get out of here. I think we're... No, we're not quite done in here. We have two more things to grab. Pew. Pew. Uh, gloves of diligence, which are they're sort of okay, I guess. And search for the true prophet, which is either a Sten thing or a Leliana thing. Not sure which one quite yet. Let's head out this way. And let's go to the council chambers? Palace? Council chambers. Let's go take a look over there. See who's around at that place. There's a man named Vertog. Vertog. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Devorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? I need aid against a blight. Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king. And we are sadly lacking one of those right now. Are you loopholing me? Uh, is there some way I could help? Actually, battling the Blight is more important than politics. No one wishes this fight over more than Balin. But while it rages, Orzammar can spare no one to combat what may or may not be a new Blight. It's definitely a may. There is a Blight happening, I swear it. Actually, are you implying a Grey Warden wouldn't recognize a Blight? I believe you. But what are we to do? If Balin followed his heart and sent his men to aid you, Haramont would steal his throne. We would defeat the Blight, and return to find our homeland devastated by an incompetent tyrant. Good point. And if you don't fight, your homeland gets destroyed. Perhaps you could prove to Prince Balin your intentions are just. If you show you owe Haramont no fealty, I'm sure Balin would help you. Haramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party... A stranger were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception. I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. What kind of evidence? Haramont promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Haramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. Okay. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Okay, I'll look into that. I'll find Lady Dace and Lord Helmy right now. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much. But Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Okay. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. They're probably fake. I don't trust either of these princes, but I'm going to go into the chamber anyways. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to. I'll observe. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the service trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Desher's lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandler. Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Yeah, you guys gotta calm down. Chill out, people. It's only trade. Oh. Well, fine, I didn't want to go into the chamber anyways. Jerks. It seems like Balin wants to open himself up to the surface more, so I like him. Who's Doolin? I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender. Second to Lord Haramont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. Kinda. I would speak with Lord Haramont. In an ordinary time, Lord Haramont would be honored to meet you. Unfortunately, we've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Haramont under a pretense of friendship. So I'm afraid I won't be able to take your word. If you want to speak to Haramont, you will need to prove he can trust you. 
Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, no. Stop playing games. This treaty compels you to help. Asking the king of Orzammar to send armies to the surface, but Orzammar has no king, and we have no army. Well, where's your army? The men who should be fighting Darkspawn are brawling in the street. If this situation is not resolved, we face civil war. If you want Lord Harriman's time now, you'll have to prove you have no intention of turning against him later. Well, I'm not going to do that. Um, what do you want me to do? Denounce Balin publicly? If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harriman's name. No. Nope. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's <laughs> memory. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harriman's best fighters into stepping down. Do you want me to find out why your fighters dropped out? That would be enlightening. Though I hope you won't pry too deeply into things they don't wish revealed. I do that. If you wish to show your loyalty, enter the proving as his lordship's champion. With your order's reputation, I have no doubt the ancestors would favor your arm. I'm not doing that. Helen would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Paramount would have no fear of meeting with you then. No, I'm not going to do this. I'm not letting Lord Harrowmount send me on this run around. But I'm afraid your only choice is to wait until there's a winner. Lord Harrowmount cannot risk his life working with someone of unproven loyalties. If you change your mind, let me know. The proving is this afternoon, and Lord Harrowmount could certainly use you on his side. Sure, whatever, but I am going to go deal with this blackmail thing first. Actually, can I tell him that, uh... Maybe I'll get rid of both kings. Lord Harriman cannot trust you unproven, but he welcomes a good faith gesture. Vartag wants me to show people that Harriman is a cheat. That you spoke to him even after our discussion is not reassuring. So have you decided to earn my lord's trust, or will you throw your lot in with the snakes? I would rather give my support to Balin, sorry. You and I have nothing more to say. Okay. Fine then, jerk. Whatever. I don't need your help. I'll get some king that likes the surface. And he'll give me an army, and I'll go kill some blight spawn. Hopefully, maybe. We'll see. TBD. It's a nice, uh, nice place you got here. Does that open? All right, uh, shale. I want you to stand here. Hold position. I don't know what you're doing exactly, but that sounds neat. Can't get in there, which figures. That looks like it might open, though. Alright. Alright. We found a servant and what appears to be a bathtub. Oh, shit. Guys, I have problems. Things are happening. I got knocked down. Stop resisting my sweet magics. Okay, that was interesting. Slightly unexpected. By the ancestors. Good on you, Warden. You caught them in the act. I did. But now I'm looking for this, uh, vault. There's a glass phylactery here. It's never a great sign. The last couple have been revenants, and I'm guessing this one's not going to be any different. 
Many of King Endrin's belongings have been rushed into storage, including trophies of his long reign. Among the boxes is a small glass phylactery. The area is unnaturally cold, dark shapes swirl around, a slip of paper within the vial. Take the vial, it fractures, and we get another revenant! You attack, you attack. You will join in and you attack too. That cone of cold did not work out for us, but that's okay. Uh, no. Yes. Who's being attacked? Shale is the front runner. Let's heal her. And then we will cold of cold. That chilled him at least, didn't exactly help us out too much. Oh, we don't have any blood magic on. Alright, here we go. Let's blood wound. Blood wound did nothing. Literally nothing. Shale, you need to heal. And I will do a arcane bolt. And then I'll cone of lightning. Cone of lightning. Uh, you. Come over here. I need you to not do that. First of all. That lightning, though. So good. Or, uh, Cone of Gold. Kill him! Yay! Great success. Another scrap of paper. I wonder how many more of these there are. There's a chest in here. Let's go bust that open. And we can't. We actually lack the ability to bust it open. This is the throne of Orzammar, it says. As you wish. I wonder if I go at the front door if people are going to get mad about that. It's possible. Right. Hi guys. Alright, so we can't go into that one area yet. Whatever that button does. Let's go find... Some quests to hand in, I guess. We have a chantry opening. Oh, there's Lady Dace. Let's go deal with her right now. What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. That is correct, ma'am. You might want to look at these papers. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. Where is he? I'll bring these to him. He is leading a deep roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient tie. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in the debt. I'll get on that. I'll go tell him. Thank you. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Good luck. A Hadouken map. I see. Who's of the hour? Questions remain as to Lord Balin's involvement in King Andrew's... Should I go into that house? That's Lord Harriman's house, isn't it? I'm gonna go in and see if I can't steal some things. Boro. Borrow some things. We don't need to talk to Dula and he's here, I guess. There's a noble. And nothing. And what appears to be a room with a chest. Let's get started. With some dwarven silver mail. Silverite mail. A scroll.
Morgan leveled up from breaking open a chest. And there's someone here named Tercy. You must be under great strength oh. the blight upon the land. I am. Okay, so I'm gonna get her to be a blood mage too, I think. Yeah. Blood mage abilities? Let's give you some blood magic. Oh, you're not quite leveled up. Uh, you need some magic and a couple more constitution because your constitution sucks. Alright, moving on. We're not going to join Lord Haramon's side. Mostly because he's isolationist and I don't like that. I need the dwarves to come die for me. So I think we'll go turn in these quests. At least the one to Lord Helmy. Did I go the wrong way? I did. I went onto a balcony as opposed to the stairwell. And a long, long load time we have. There we go. Perfect. Or in the commons. We'll make our way down to the non-commons. Actually, Brother Burkle's right here. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. I have. He's agreed to let you hold prayer meetings. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light. Friend. Don't say that. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service. No. Well, I don't think so. I will go to Tasters though, because there's someone I need to go see there. And then I think our next video will head into the Deep Roads finally. We have several quests to do there. We have to find some dude and tell him that he's being cheated. Wait a minute, Tasters isn't in the comments, isn't it? Yes. No, yes, I think so. They really could use some, like, general maintenance in uh, the dust commons or whatever. On it. If you just built up the houses, they'd be fine. There's Lord Helmy. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar. I have news. Haramont is double dealing you and Lady Dace. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it, I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And we'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. So you switch your vote to Balin? Otherwise, my whole house will be humiliated. Doesn't make a difference anyway. One's as bad as the next. Sorry for ruining your day, bud. I feel this wasn't really my fault, though. Alright, so. I guess that's where we're going to end off for today. Well, not today, but for this video. In the next video, we will be heading down into the deep roads. We have a pass. We can go down there, we can go find some togs, we can kill things again. It's been a while since we've killed something and well, other than a child, we well, we didn't technically kill it, we just mostly sentenced it to death. I guess it's kind of the same thing. Anyways, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.